you've got your emotions, you've got your thoughts, and you've got your actions or your behaviors, right? So your emotions, here's what we know from neuroscience. It used to be thought that, that my thinking, the thoughts I had created my emotions. There's some truth to that, but what we actually know now is that we do our emotional thinking first and then our cognitive, more logical thinking second. So your body's affective state, that is the actual state of your body. Do you feel a lot of intensity? Is it really unpleasant? Is it really pleasant? So in other words, am I feeling joyful, serene, exuberant, or am I feeling depressed, anxious, threatened, whatever I'm feeling in my body affects how my brain processes incoming data. Everything I he see, hear, smell, taste, touch, all the incoming data is being affected by my affective state, which is closely connected to my emotional state. So this emotional state begins to play into the formation of my thoughts. My thoughts, and what I'm talking about there is the interpretation of the situational data. What's going on here? So I'm doing this in line with my history and what's going on in the state of my body. And so these two things together, my emotions and my thoughts now, are going to non-consciously direct my behavior. So do I snarl? Do I cross my arms? Do I shrug my shoulders? Do I scoff? Do I start laughing? Do I get giddy? Do I leave? Do I, you know, all of those actions are being driven by this joint, this paired reality of my emotions and my thoughts that are going on. Also, the behaviors that I'm acting on reinforce my affective state and my emotions and my thoughts. It's cyclical. It's also reciprocal, going both ways. It's very complicated. But all of that to say, what I do, my behavior has a very, very powerful formative effect neurobiologically, like at the level of the neural structures of my brain, how things are woven together, how I feel in my body, what thoughts that's connected to, how I relate that to certain environmental stimuli. My acting on those things cements those in the most powerful of ways. Values interrupt this, okay? As it says right here, values interrupt this cycle at the most powerful place to make a change, the stage of embodiment. So in other words, a different set of thoughts, my values, that's going to be paired with a whole different set of emotions and desires and drives, comes to bear, is brought to bear, and I act on those instead of these over here. And when I do that and I act on that, I'm actually now really beginning to shift the literal neural connections throughout my brain and nervous system running through my whole body. And when I do that over and over and over again, it literally has this formative effect that changes the trajectory of my development. So 